Tim Banks yeah. at Cincinnati, but Mike Thomas was at Cincinnati. Yeah, Have you sure. chatted to him about what this week means for him? It, well, we talk a lot, uh, uh, me and Mike do, and uh, he was, I was lucky enough that he came in this morning. We talked f football, and, and uh, you know, it's kind of different here because the athletic department is not in the same area, so Mike comes over once a week, and we just sit down in my office and talk. But, of course, I know a lot about Cincinnati and, and about his uh, him being there. And, uh, you know, he's done, he did a great job with that program. I mean, you see how far that program's become, uh, you know, a, a national contender. So uh, they've done a good job. What's he telling you after week one? Uh, not to just keep on. You know, he's Mike's been great. You know, again, he's gave me an opportunity to be a head football coach in the Big Ten. And so uh, he's he's been great. He's, you know, he knows what uh, what we're doing and how we're trying to get better each and every week. And you know, the only challenge that we have is next week. And that's exactly what we talk about. Uh, your old team beat Cincinnati last year. Yeah, yeah sure you, did. You picked Matt Campbell's brain at all about that game? Uh, you know, uh, I did a little bit this summer. Okay. Uh, I've talked to Matt quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, they came up to uh, – we had kind of that uh, – in uh, the era that I was there, kind of scheduled that one and uh, felt that it was kind of a win-win situation for Toledo because they had to come up to Toledo. And, uh, you know – Cincinnati was supposed to beat Toledo, and Toledo ended up beating them. So uh, I haven't talked to him, you know, as, as much as I did this summer about him, but I was proud of the Rockets last year. Uh, just uh, Adrian Witte, number eight, I think their safety for Cincinnati. Returned a touchdown last week. Just what, what do you see on about Playmaker. Him? He makes a lot of, a lot of plays. Uh, you know, I think that uh, uh, he's aggressive. He's been there. He, I mean, he's a good football player, no question. Do you feel like you need to dial up any more blitzes this week to try and get to the quarterback, or do you trust your front? No, you know, I know uh, if we studied that game uh, deeply uh, after on, on Sunday, and they were getting the ball off extremely fast. It was a lot of quick game, a lot of screen type stuff, uh, flares, uh, flare screen type stuff. So, I mean, to get a pass rush and to be able to pressure a quarterback in, you know, less than two seconds is how fast they're getting the football off. So I think that there's some things that we've got to continue to do better uh, by rushing the passer and getting there in 2.5 seconds. But I think that there's uh, a four-man rush that can also do that too. And one, one of their quarterbacks is more of an athletic guy. Has yeah. been contained been a big part of this week's preparation? Oh, I think so. No question about it. When Munchie's in there, um, seen him play before, you know, prior to, to uh, our time here in this last week. So uh, very athletic uh, you know, he's been there. He's won football games. He's, you know, been very successful as a senior. And, and uh, you know, both quarterbacks have been successful. So one can run the ball maybe a little bit better. But, uh, you know, I, I think they're both very good quarterbacks. Obviously, you have questions about your pass rush and your young secondary. But you guys had some guys great out well on the D-line and linebackers. Do you feel – confident that you guys can stop the run a little bit this yeah, year? Yeah, I mean, we did uh, We did what we needed to do against the run, uh, especially early in the game. Uh, the challenge that we've talked to the defense about, and Coach Banks has said since day one, is, is finishing. And uh, we didn't have a very good third quarter uh, and then struggled a little bit in the fourth. But uh, the first two quarters, I really thought, other than the big pass that hit us early from, you know, what we call eye control problem, uh, I thought they played really good. So... Uh, we're, we're, we'll continue to improve because we're, we're young, like we said. But they played hard, and, uh, you know, they were being an aggressive defense. So, you know, we, we just have to continue to make strides. Is it still a little bothersome with the, the second half struggles? I know that was a point of emphasis. <laughs> you try. <laughs> we've, we've done everything from running in and in, in between practices. And, I mean, it's uh, – yeah, I mean, it is. And uh, it's brought up a lot. Uh, to this football team, and it's been brought up for now 10 months. So uh, we have got to make strides on coming out more focused and and have the same attitude that we do in the first quarter. I mean, do you have a preference if you win the toss? Do you want the ball right away? We've done both. Yeah, okay. You know, we was last week we wanted the football, and we took the football. We've deferred. Uh, we've done, like I said, we've done both. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a mindset that we have to beat. In my opinion, we have to beat the mindset. Uh, it's just happened so long uh, that we have got to come out refocused and ready to play uh, the second game, really, second half of a game.